Developing tonight some new controversy regarding the press after President elect Donald Trump hosts a select group of journalists at his Florida resort for an off the record chat. One of the reporters in attendance then posted this picture to Twitter saying, quote, Christmas at Mar a Lago. At real Donald Trump, relaxed and chatty, hosts press for drinks, off record, but picks, okay. Now the meeting is a target of criticism, with one reporter for the Huffington Post saying, quote, over past week, Trump's mocked the press on thank you tour and canceled the first news conference since July. Here is how the reporters have responded. So I'm joined now by Cokie Roberts, political commentator for ABC News and NPR and author of a new book, Ladies of Liberty, The Women Who Shaped Our Nation. Cokie, good to have you here so tonight. Nice to thank be you with so you. much for coming in. Um, so your thoughts on that, the, the Christmas photo at Mar-a-Lago, the fact that he hasn't really taken any real questions in quite a while. It, uh, it's time for him to have a press conference uh, and that would be useful for everybody, for him included. But uh, it's always a, a, a hard question about what you do about these off the record circumstances, particularly with someone you don't really know well. Donald Trump has not developed a relationship with the press. It was, they haven't covered him for years on Capitol Hill or in the governor's mansion or something like that. And so to have an opportunity to sit down and talk to him is probably useful. Uh, but it is a problem when you can't then report it. It's, those are always tough calls. Yeah, see, I think both see, are true. Uh, the yeah. press conference needs to happen. Right. But I understand what you're saying in terms of building that rapport, right. that background, getting to know each other a little bit um, can open the doors for better future dialogue uh, down the road. So Cokie Roberts says it's okay. The picture is okay. <laughs> that was posted on Twitter, but the news conference must come. So get ready for That's that. Right. Um, beautiful book. You've Thank written many you. books, obviously. Um, and this one, Ladies of Liberty, that just came out is, is based on your prior book, but this one is geared towards uh, young readers. And you talk about the fact that Louisa Adams was the first first lady right. to be born outside of this country. She was an American. Uh, her father was stationed in um, Britain. But Melania is a fascinating part of this story. She I is think. indeed. What and are your thoughts on her? Well, I think she's going to do fine. Uh, she certainly she was probably gobsmacked, right? I mean, wait, we won. <laughs> <laughs> she claims she always believed. She well, said, "If he runs, he right, will win." Right, right, right. Uh, to her credit, but yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people were startled, and she may have been one of them. But. Yeah, but um, um, Mrs. Obama has been very clear that she, the door is open, uh, that she will be welcoming to her as Mrs. Bush was to Mrs. Obama. And I had, Martha, the huge privilege of twice having the opportunity to interview Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Bush together. And they really are friends. And they, uh, they, they have forged a relationship that I think will continue forever because uh, there are lots of issues that they're interested in, particularly uh, bettering the lives of women and girls around the world. And uh, I think they will stay very involved in that. But, um, but Mrs. Obama uh, was very clear about how much help Mrs. Bush gave her and said the door is open for me to help me because nobody knows what it's like until you're there. There's no, particularly if you haven't been first lady of a state. And that was the case for Mrs. Obama, um, and is certainly the case for Mrs. Trump. So um, I think it's a wonderful, a wonderful thing the way these women really do uh, help each other. I mean, it's a special role for it the nation. It is a special role, uh, and it means a lot the way mm -hmm. the family is presented, and I think it gives stability uh, to the president. In terms of Ivanka, it looks like she's going to play an unusual role and perhaps step into the social aspects of some of this as well as some some policy issues as well kind of like a first lady in her role as well well she's she's warns us off uh, you know from time to time that, that about that but we'll see what role she but she's clearly a very important advisor to her father and someone who he relies on so he's going to want her nearby in in some role we did have actually in this book um, elizabeth monroe the president wife of president james monroe their daughter played the first lady role in Washington because Mrs. Monroe was not well. And uh, her name was Eliza Hay, and nobody could stand her. So, <laughs> so Ivanka might read up on Eliza before she takes that role because she was, she was mean to the women of Washington, and they didn't take it well. They don't, yeah, they don't like that no, very much. No. All right, Koki, great to have you here. Wonderful Good luck to with be the with book. you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.